The Colorado Business Roundtable is a really important organization, and I think we are, as a business community, stronger together. Colorado Business Roundtable is a collection of business leaders who believe and understand that business is a force for good. Well, I love the Colorado Business Roundtable, and what I like about it is that it, it understands that business is the lifeblood of a community. It creates jobs. And when we can team as a set of Colorado businesses with Colorado government, we are incredibly powerful. Very excited to be a part of an organization that helps advance the voice of business and really helps to illustrate the value proposition that businesses bring to our customers, our communities, and the, and the people that we serve in the state. When we talk about policy issues together, when we bring people together for our roundtables, for some of our thought leadership forums, oftentimes it's the unintended consequences that come up on a particular policy, a ballot issue, perhaps a rulemaking, and how it affects business today. And we wanna make sure that our folks, these large employers who provide so much to Colorado, have a seat at that table. I love what the round table stands for. I believe that we all need to run our business as if it was a for-profit business. Iron sharpens iron. When the regulatory environment is uncertain, changing a lot, and, and, and depends a lot on discretion, well, the rules aren't really clear, so you, you might be able to get the permits to do that, but then again, you might not, and you've got to go through a year-long process, spending millions of dollars trying to hold resources, not sure if you can develop them or not. Obviously, that's an environment that chills investment, and it chills hiring. We've seen a large amount of the Colorado oil and gas industry move. The Colorado Women's Chamber has found great synergy with Cobert because we find alignment with all of their values, but if I had to pick one, which is tough to do, it would be the reimagination of Colorado's workforce. I see us as a workforce pipeline, and I think the only way that you can do that effectively is if you are collaborating and working with the people who are you you're creating the workforce for. I'm involved with the Colorado Business Roundtable because I'm a huge believer in the partnership between education and employers in strengthening the talent pipeline, which is so important to the future economy of Colorado. There's been a lot of um, challenges finding the people that we need to do the work that we have. Um, don't necessarily always have the right people and right skill sets in Colorado and you know that's a challenge I think lots of folks are grappling with and our higher ed institutions are grappling with you know what kind of skills do they need to be providing so that when kids hit the the um, employment market they are employable right off the bat and so that's probably been the biggest challenge for us frankly. We need to promote education within our communities. That is the most important thing that we can give the, the future generations. For me, it would be give us the tools so we can keep improving, so we can keep growing. The infrastructure of all sorts, whether it's utility infrastructure, whether it's telecommunications and broadband, really is going to be a part of the engine that drives economic prosperity, economic vitality. Um, so I think I'll just say, you know, we saw during the pandemic, candidly, the importance of broadband infrastructure for our children to be able to learn remotely and for people to be able to participate in our, our economy. Infrastructure is key. Lead with a purpose. I think of it more of as a philosophy, as, as a policy. I think if in your heart you believe that you're here to serve other people, you can't not lead with a purpose. Colorado is on the right track in equipping impact in our communities. A perfect example of this was when we experienced the devastation of Marshall Fire. We evacuated the hospital, including a couple of moms who were delivering babies. It was an extraordinary feat. And then the rebuilding began. The outpouring of generosity from the community, from individuals, from corporations, from foundations and institutions, was really staggering. 
We're excited that we've pulled together such tremendous partners from academia, business, community, and government as part of Colorado Business Roundtable, and we invite you to join us.